Meet 3i Atlas, the third interstellar object ever spotted by human beings through the Atlas program. This ancient wanderer, billions of years old, passed the closest to Mars on October the 3rd, and Chinese scientists captured several incredible snapshots. NASA's silence had become its own kind of signal. Even after the US government shutdown finally ended, restoring access to scientific data pipelines and clearing the way for long-delayed releases, the agency said nothing publicly about when the long-awaited Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter images of 3i Atlas would be shared. Internal teams confirmed the data were intact, processing had reportedly resumed, and officials quietly hinted that the highest resolution images of an interstellar object ever captured were now only days or weeks from publication. Yet outwardly, NASA remained cautious, deliberate, and uncharacteristically slow. For a world eager to understand the anomalies surrounding 3i Atlas, the silence felt like a second blackout. During those weeks of American restraint, China acted with none of the hesitation. Without announcements, without live streams, and without even a mission code name, a deep space launch rose from Chinese territory and vanished into heliocentric transfer orbit. Amateur trackers first detected it, military analysts confirmed it, and before long, independent orbital reconstruction showed the unmistakable truth. Beijing had quietly dispatched another probe toward the outbound path of 3i Atlas, the same interstellar object whose earlier Mars flyby had triggered a cascade of scientific and geopolitical questions. While NASA was still organizing its newly reinstated operations, China had already moved into the next phase of investigation. During the comet's closest approach to Mars in October 2025, China's Tianwen-1 orbiter became the first spacecraft to photograph the interstellar visitor from another planet. The Mishu's cameras captured the coma, jets, and unusual dust structures with clarity surpassing most ground-based observations. And in a display of efficiency that caught the world off guard, China released its images to the public within hours. At the same moment, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter had captured sharper, more detailed images, three times the resolution. But the US government shutdown had locked those files behind bureaucratic barriers. China controlled the narrative because China controlled the timing. Now, with the shutdown over and NASA preparing its long-delayed release, the timing had shifted once again. But in China's favor, Tianwan-1, still operational after years in Martian orbit, had already proven its precision track tracking and rapid data dissemination during the first encounter. And with China's new unannounced probe accelerating outward along 3i Atlas's trajectory, it appeared Beijing intended to build on that advantage. The message was subtle but unmistakable. While the United States waited for internal processes to restart, China had already acted on the next and possibly final opportunity to study the fading interstellar object. As NASA prepared to speak, Beijing was already several steps ahead observing, maneuvering, and perhaps seeking answers to questions the world had not yet fully asked. In the days following the shutdown, a clearer picture of the US position began to emerge. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter had indeed captured unprecedented high-resolution imagery during the comet's Mars flyby, detailed views of the asymmetric jets, the unusually stable coma boundaries, and the anti-tail structure that appeared more anchored than drifting. Yet NASA officials claimed the data required extensive validation before public release. Calibration procedures, thermal noise checks, photometric corrections, every step needed to be verified after weeks of staff furloughs. It was responsible, careful, scientifically sound. But in a world where perception travels faster than analysis, the delay came with a cost. China faced no such constraints. Tanwen-1's imaging sequences were processed, confirmed, and published with remarkable speed. The orbiter's unique vantage point, an angle unobstructed by solar glare, provided clarity that no Earth-based telescope could match. Observers could trace the faint, shell-like arcs expanding from the nucleus, examine the geometry of the anti-tail, and study the jet structures that seems to defy rotation-based smearing. These anomalies, later discussed by independent astronomers, suggested that the material leaving the object maintained directionality inconsistent with normal comet physics. Some jets stayed sharply aligned, rather than fanning out as the nucleus rotated. Others seemed to pulse intermittently, rather than continuously. Tanwen-1 caught all of it. China's newly launched probe, detected only through its trajectory, not through official announcements, added a new layer of intrigue, its heliocentric path matched the outbound track of 3i Atlas with uncanny precision. 
Analysts debated whether the intercept would be direct, passing, or purely observational. But even a distant flyby would allow for measurements impossible from Earth, mass estimates from gravitational perturbation, high-phase angle spectroscopy, plasma interactions in solar wind, and possibly even imaging from a vantage point inside the comet's expanding dust envelope. The mission didn't need a dramatic rendezvous. Its mere existence was enough to demonstrate capability. The timing was brutally effective. With America's most powerful scientific engines just restarting after the shutdown, China had effectively opened a new chapter before NASA had closed the previous one. To outside observers, the contrast was stark. A unified, streamlined Chinese program capable of rapid action versus a fragmented American structure forced to pause at the very moment global attention peaked. The reality was more nuanced, but perception in international affairs rarely rewards nuance. Behind the scenes, NASA scientists worked methodically through their backlog. MRO's images reportedly revealed unprecedented detail, grain structures in the dust plume, thermal hotspots along the sunward limb, and subtle shadowing effects within the coma that hinted at internal density contrasts. Some early analyses suggested that the anti-tail observed from Mars was composed of relatively large particles, millimeter scale or greater, moving slowly enough that solar radiation pressure failed to disperse them. The resulting wedge shape, pointing towards the sun, was explained not by propulsion or internal force, but geometric alignment between the observer and the orbital plane. Yet other features remained unexplained. The stability of the anti-tail, the sharp, non-smeared jet directions, the faint arcs that appeared to propagate outward with surprising coherence, and the comet's resilience to a powerful coronal mass ejection that should have torn its structures apart. These anomalies fueled speculation across the astrophysics community. Independent researchers published rapid response analyses. Some highlighted the similarities to known interstellar objects like Oumuamua and Borisov, both of which displayed unexpected behavior. Others pointed to differences. 3I Atlas was dominated by carbon-based volatiles rather than water, exhibited structural layering, and maintained a stable coma even under extreme solar stress. The comet's 60 km per second velocity, hyperbolic trajectory, and alignment with the ecliptic plane contributed to the mystery. It was an interstellar object, yet it behaved unlike any seen before. All of this made the timing of China's intercept probe even more consequential. The probe's trajectory, revealed only through its movement, suggested a narrow window of opportunity. The comet was fading rapidly, its coma thinning as it pulled away from the sun. Each passing week reduced the data available to telescopes. A spacecraft intercept was no longer just desirable. It was perhaps the last viable method to glean high-quality information before the object disappeared forever into interstellar space. China had acted in time, the United States had not. NASA's impending release of MRO imagery was still expected to dominate scientific discourse. American instruments were superior. The data, once processed, would be extraordinary. But scientific precision takes time, and global narratives seldom wait. China understood that better than anyone. By acting during the gap created by the shutdown, Beijing ensured that its role in the 3I Atlas story would remain foundational. Tianwen-1 provided the first planetary images. The new probe would attempt the first deep space intercept. NASA, despite possessing the best data, had seeded the spotlight through silence and circumstance. Yet this was not simply a geopolitical tale. It was also a story of cosmic opportunity, one of the rare instances in human history when an object formed around another star passed close enough for direct study. Comets like 3I Atlas carry material older than our solar system. Their composition preserves clues about distant stellar nurseries. Their trajectories provide information about dynamical processes in other regions of the galaxy. And their anomalies challenge our understanding of what interstellar bodies can be. Whether China's probe performed a flyby or merely observed at distance, the data it collected would expand that knowledge. American scientists understood this as well. As shutdown restrictions lifted, mission teams pushed to bring MRO's imagery into the public domain. Preliminary leaks suggested new insights into the object's mass distribution and jet dynamics. Some American analysts privately speculated that the comet's strange behavior might arise from unusual volatile chemistry or highly stratified internal layers, natural but exotic. Others remained cautious. 
the anomalies did not fit neatly into existing models, and until every pixel was calibrated, rigor mattered more than headlines. In the end, the silence that had begun as a bureaucratic side effect had become a global narrative force. NASA's restraint kept its data from shaping public understanding at the critical moment. China's swift actions filled that void with confidence, clarity, and a demonstration of capability. In the race to study an interstellar object, timing proved as important as technology. As the world awaits NASA's long-delayed release and watches China's intercept probe vanish into the outer dark, a new reality has taken shape. The scientific frontier is no longer a quiet, cooperative landscape. It is strategic, competitive, unforgiving, and when the next interstellar object appears, years or decades from now, both nations will remember what happened during the final days of 3i Atlas, when silence became opportunity and the race for deep space leadership briefly shifted from Earth to the stars.